This is probably, hands down, the best jet fighter we've ever gotten. Because I've seen the other figures and they look terrible. This destroys them. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman here, and guys, welcome to another episode of Teletran Unboxings, baby. That's right. In this video, we're going to check out a leader class figure that I've been wanting for a very long time, ever since they announced it. I've been very curious as to how it's going to look, and in this one, we're going to actually crack it open. I actually recently found this, literally two days ago in a toy hunt in episode number 35 actually I found this figure and lost my mind lost all my marbles <laughs> I cannot find my marbles anywhere if you haven't seen that one go back refer to that one go check out that one that's a that's a really good hunt I found some good stuff so in this one we're gonna check out leader class Jetfire <laughs> oh man <laughs> I personally think this one's going to win my heart. I know there's a Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime coming out, but I think this one's gonna do it. I really think this one's gonna take the crown. I mean, just looking at it from in the packaging, and you guys already know that when you take figures out of the packaging, they look much better. In the packaging, this thing looks phenomenal. So I already know what I'm getting into. This figure, I, I just I can't wait to unbox this one. I cannot believe I found this one so soon and uh, I'm actually very satisfied with this one. I might end up keeping this one. Just so you guys know, you guys have been asking me a lot. I do not collect figures. I buy them. Well, I hunt for them. I buy them. I unbox them and then I end up getting rid of them if I don't want them. I'm very, very picky. I don't collect a bunch of figures. I only like the ones that are specifically really good for me. And this one is probably going to stay here. Just saying, because it looks fantastic. So, we're going to do a full review of the box and then we're gonna take them out. There's this typical thing. Now, with Studio Series, it's the same thing. You know, the boxes are the same. They're not that, not that different. They have the same layout, in other words, but each box is obviously customized for the specific character and I will say this is the biggest leader class box I've ever had or ever seen or probably that there ever is. Look how thick this is compared to the other boxes. I don't have another leader class to show you but um, well I have Blackout but he's in the car. <laughs> but uh, this is basically the thickest box I've ever seen because he's a really huge figure. Jetfire is a massive massive guy. Like, he, like the character itself is massive so it would only do him justice to make him a leader class. It, I, I wouldn't really like a Voyager uh, Jetfire or a Deluxe. Now, a Deluxe Jetfire would be ridiculous. <laughs> that would not be even, like, acceptable. Anyway, so this is the box. There he is, looking spectacular. I mean, I just, oh man, 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 man. Look at that uh, picture right here. He is number 35, Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers, that's his name. <laughs> and this is a side view of the box. Him looking pretty cool. Not the best picture. I wouldn't choose this one as his picture, but I guess a mugshot would do. And it's the exact same thing. Well, actually, not 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 really. It's actually more zoomed out. You get more of his body in this one. And the Autobot logo actually uh, is accurate here. And Revenge of the Fallen, and obviously nothing on the bottom. And of course, the description of Jetfire says Jetfire um, makes the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, heroically giving up his parts to, to restore and strengthen Optimus Prime. So, that's that's pretty awesome. I like that. That perfectly represents what his purpose basically was in the film. And he is the Blackbird Jet. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this is gonna be so cool. I don't... I, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Let's get it. Alright, guys. Now we're gonna unbox him. Let's get it, baby. One piece of tape. Very seamless. Oh, I know it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be one of the few figures that's gonna blow my mind. And here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Let's get it, baby. Oh my! I have never seen a figure this beautiful before. This guy is so huge. They literally had to tie him to the box. I think that's the first I've ever seen a, a character, the background. 
Oh man, oh man, I gotta attach him to Optimus Prime. I gotta do it. Oh my god. No way. There's there's no way he looks this good. There's no way he looks this good. Take a look at that. Take a look at this. Look at the paint job. Look at the detail of his face. I've never had this happen to me where I couldn't get my mind together to like finish a, an unboxing video or like, what do I see? Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make an exception with this video. Usually for my unboxing videos, you guys can see me and you can see the figure. Most reviews, you only see the figure and you have the talking hands. But for this one, I, I have to go for talking hands because I don't, you, you shouldn't see me right now. <laughs> you need to really take a look at the detail of this figure. So I'm gonna switch the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys just exactly what I'm talking about. I know it's hard to see it on the camera and with the lighting and everything. And you really won't actually get a chance to really get a good look at it unless you get it yourself. But I'll do my best to really show you guys how this looks to me and why I'm like not even like I'm freaking out because it feels like it's like almost it's not a prime one studio statue but it's almost there that's that's we like that's crazy this is how well studio series is doing guys take a look at this I <laughs> first of all okay let's talk about the the face call from the whiskers if that's what you want to call them from these things this is amazing you got detail from head to toe I have no complaints with this figure look at this get you a side view and here's a wide view look at Jetfire <laughs> like this thing is amazing guys I love the facial sculpt I love the top pieces and the like the wing pieces on the side. I love all that. I love his axe. I love his cane. The cane is perfect. Everything about this Jetfire figure looks fantastic. Look at even the coloring of like the wires on his arm. Just perfect. I'm gonna turn him around so you guys can get a look at the back of him. Look at that. Look at the, how the wings, you can articulate the wings and how they expand and look at that. Just all of the parts, just it, it looks, it looks perfect. Like I don't have any complaints about this figure at all. So one of the things I will say for sure uh, that I am in love with is the facial sculpt because that like really brings out the details. Of course the axe and the cane that really brings out his character that makes him look just like Jetfire, and of course the uh, these these turbine these these engine parts that make up his knees that actually does transform into like the the parts for the jet. That's super cool. Even you got some coloring of the wires um, on his uh, like on his bicep right here. I love the wings on the back. The back actually doesn't really have that much of a backpack. Is actually very flush. It reminds me of the jet wing on Optimus Prime, and I'm pretty sure that's the part that he is gonna have on his back when you combine them. Even the red accents and uh, just everything looks super, super cool. Like, it, it's a really nice figure. It is perfectly sized. It has fantastic black and gray, and like sometimes you can see some silver accents like up here, you got the black and you got the gray. Uh, you even got the yellow uh, paint right here. The axe, uh, you can have it in his hand or you could uh, store it on his wing back here. So that's, that's fun. Um, it's this right here actually. So on the handle of the axe, there's this little peg here. And it pegs into the back of the wing. So you just kind of align those and then bingo. And it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, it works. <laughs> um, that's basically how he'll look from the front with the axe kind of sticking out. Or you can even like, if you want to, compress these two and then just like flush it up 
so you won't really see it that much from the front, you can do that as well to kind of hide it a little bit. Or if you want to extend the wings, you can do that as well. But I think the articulation is fantastic. I mean, his head rotates. Look at that. You can say nope, and he go like yeah. <laughs> then he can go yeah. <laughs> and then his arms. He does like the, the articulation of the arm is not the best. Um, well, I guess because this forearm is so large. You only get the wrist and then you get the elbow, which is not bad, and then you get the, the shoulder. So that's not bad. His legs actually can extend out, so you can make him stand up without using the cane. Like if he went to a chiropractor and he got himself uh, checked out and he was okay, he can walk around, or maybe he got himself repaired and he's fine, he's good to go. You can really like stand him up, like he doesn't need his cane. If he's perfectly fine, he's like, actually, I'm just kidding. I was pranking all you guys. I'm actually fine. Then that's what you can do. And, uh, of course, you can store his, uh, his little cane on his body. But, yeah, he actually, I like how he looks, like, standing up straight without the cane. I mean, it's not movie accurate. I mean, obviously, he, he had, like, trouble standing. He was oxidizing and rusting, like, his wretched self. But, like, if you wanted to put him in, like, a fighting stance... You can definitely do that. The articulation of this character is fantastic. Because in all honesty, Jet Fire was probably this tall, standing up this like standing up straight like that. It was only over time where he started to like decay and then he needed a cane to help him stand, so he was like leaning over. But before that, Jet Fire was standing tall and straight and that's that's he I mean his legs were extended out like that. So that's kinda how he would appear. And that's like, that's that's cool, I like it. I don't, man, I really like the Jetfire figure, I'm not even gonna lie, but I actually personally wanna really see how this is gonna look with Optimus Prime, like to combine the two. And I'm gonna make that like a separate video. It's not gonna be an unboxing video because I'm not unboxing anything, but I wanted to just like make a separate video dedicated to this, uh, this combination you can do with Jetfire and Optimus because I really do, I really do wanna see how well that looks in person. I've seen reviews, but reviews are are not the same when you have them in front of you and you're doing it and you see it. The only other thing that Jetfire comes with besides his axe and his little his little uh, cane here is the little piece right here. And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try it's so small. <laughs> I'm gonna try to let it if, if it can yeah. It's this little piece. It's really for the chest of Optimus Prime. Uh, you, you gotta put it on Optimus's chest, kind of like that. Kind of. Kind of like that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I really might keep him. Jetfire was the funniest character in Revenge of the Fallen. He was the cogman of Revenge of the Fallen. He is what makes Revenge of the Fallen worth watching. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, Jetfire is literally the best part of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And there he is. The eternal glory of Jetfire is here. Look at him. Just look at him. I have him purposely leaning on the cane because that's how he would naturally kind of do. He would just flop around. <laughs> he was dying in the movie anyway, so I guess that's why Michael Bay just made it official. But I love his character. He was fantastic. And this figure is insane. Like, this figure is beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and just get to the rating i'm gonna just say it 10 out of 10. i love the paint job i love the, the the detail i love the accessories i love the size i love the background i love the face sculpt i love everything about this figure and i love the flexibility i love how you can uh, combine him with optimus prime that's fantastic behold the eternal glory of jetfire and you know what I'm probably gonna keep this guy. I'm gonna keep this guy. Well guys, that's all for this one. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't have much to say in this one. I mean, like, he really took me by surprise. Jetfire looked so well. I just, I lost my train of thought. I, I didn't know, like, really what to, like, how, like, what to say. He is probably gonna go down in history as one of the best leader class studio series figures we've ever gotten. And this is probably, hands down, the best Jetfire we've ever gotten because I've seen the other figures and he looked terrible. This destroys them. <laughs> so definitely the best Jetfire figure 
and probably gonna be the best leader class studio series. And the winner of the guessing game that I do for these figures all the time, uh, my hint was very easy. I just had SR-71, which is like the, the description of his jet mode. Um, I just made it very easy. And the first person to guess it right is InfidelX059 on Instagram. Thank you so much for being an Alfanzo, for following me, for participating, and for being a great guesser. And being very fast, because literally four of you guys like commented almost at the same time, but Instagram obviously knows the time, so you were the first one. But a lot of you guys were like commenting all at the same time, and we're ready for this. So uh, shout out to you guys, and thank you for uh, you know participating in this. If you guys want to check out this figure online, you know you don't have to wait until he shows up at the stores. You can get him online and have it shipped to your house, and then boom, bam, ciao. He's there, so you guys can check him out on Amazon, and if you don't want to buy it, if you just want to look at the listing, that helps my channel. I am an Amazon affiliate. I'm partnered with Amazon, so if you guys just click the link at the description box below, and if you buy anything on there, it helps my channel, and if you just click it at all, it also helps my channel. So thanks for watching. My name is Alfonso, and thank you guys, and fantastic, and I love you, Jetfire, and peace out. <laughs>